Hi guys, it's Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive subscribers and supporters, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. I was just looking to see where that shadow was going. Anyway, if you hear that little squeechy noise, that's my grandson. He's in the, in the, what is the thing, in the bouncy, in the door. So his mom has to work a double today. So guess what? I got him all day. Woohoo. Okay, I got a haul from for you today. Uh, what I would like to consider is like something non-traditional. Um, some stuff that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Have mercy. About maybe a week or so ago. And some other stuff that I want to show you that's right here. Now, I can't say this is non-traditional because I've gotten stuff from the hardware store before. For my crafting projects. Y'all, he's laughing at me. And what I got this time are these things. These are, I think it said steel, 10, 10 caps. I got these from Ace Hardware, and that's that's what it is right there. And I don't remember the person that I saw this from. And it's been like a year or so, maybe even longer than that, ago. And that's whose video I saw these on. And she was saying that... If you want to like double your your magnets per se, let me get this one. Oh my God, these magnets are so strong. She's like, you get one of these, and you get that. So you put your magnet on one side and this thing on the other side, and then that way you only use one magnet as opposed to using two magnets. And I thought that was a really good idea. And she also said that <clears throat> she usually takes her Tim Holtz scissors and cuts this in half. I'm not going to tell you I'm going to go that far. I wish these were a little bit smaller. It says 1 and 5 eighths inch. Let's see. 1. Oh my goodness. Come on, thing. Five eights, okay. I don't know, but anyway, <clears throat> it looks bigger to me. <clears throat> if I could come up with a way to cut this in half and make it so that that sharp edge that it's gonna make doesn't cut through the paper or cut anything, then I may try to do that. But right now, it'll just be the one, and I think I'm gonna try that in my next project. Probably my next, uh, what is it, uh, gift bag purse project. Yeah, I probably try it then. So, like I said, these are 10 cap discs from Ace Hardware. I, I have seen them in Home Depot and in Lowe's, but you have to get them online. You don't get them in store. That was that. Uh, like I said, a while ago, maybe a week or so, I went to Hobby Lobby and I got these. I had been seeing people haul these and I was hoping... Oh, I was thinking that this would probably be a, something that I would use more than any of the other colors. So I got this one. Is there a name on here? Bubblegum bubble gum Bead Mix. And I don't know if that's like what they call all of them or if this is, the, if it, it has an actual name. But I got this one with the white and black and what's that color? Blush maybe? Got that. This was on clearance for 99 cents. Of course, y'all know why I got this to go with my junk journal. I picked up these two embroidery threads, and this right here is for my junk journal as well. I'm thinking about using these to sew my signatures with. And the last thing I picked up were these, and I saw Miss V balling. One, I think that's the whole thing. Miss Veronica, and she showed these in her haul. So I got the cup as if I need another one. I got this thing right here. What is this like a um a Christmas ornament, which is cool. And I got this, which is a really nice size. I got this um oh my goodness, this Christmas stocking. Gee, what is this? Okay, so I got those are the only things I picked up at Hobby Lobby. 
Now, this plate right here is of things that I've been kind of working on. I'm going to come back in the video after this one. And I'm going to go in a little bit more in depth into this. I'm going to set up the tea station. Well, where I can do some tea dyeing. I've never tea dyed cardstock. Yeah, I'm going to tea dye some, try to tea dye some cardstock and see how that works. But these are some dyes that I had never used. These are the alteration ones. This is the phone and the typewriter, the clock, and the camera. And I got some of those cuts right here. This is the phone right here. Oh, and I made some teeny rosettes too. Where are the rest of them at? Uh, they down in here somewhere, guys. I don't want to show y'all too much of the you know, stuff all at the wrong time, but it looks like it's going to have to happen that way. Okay, and here are some envelopes. I actually I cut some envelopes as well. Where is it? Here is this one. And I got this at Hobby Lobby maybe last year, the year before. It was on clearance as well. So I got that envelope, and it came with this little thing right here as well. I guess that's the little insert. So I made some cuts of those. Here's the envelope again. And uh, do I have more? And uh, okay, here's a typewriter. Here's a typewriter. Here's the camera. Turn it over this way. That's the camera. Here's the clock right here. There's the clock. And I want to see if I can um, tee dye those and add them into the junk journal. And I also, another die that I had never used was this little pocket die, which makes this beautiful ornate butterfly. And here's that. And I want to actually do these as well. This one I had a hard time cutting because I but actually the little intricate pieces, I had to make a shim for it to cut out properly. Do I have anything that's colored? So you're not going to be able to see it really well like that. Uh, I wouldn't have some kind of piece of... Let me see if I can find some colored paper right quick. Okay, team, time for commercial break. I <clears throat> said in, in uh, my first or the second video, one of those videos, that I was going to take one for the home team. I was going to cook some chicken in here that was raw. I was gonna, and I'm going to do curry again because I don't have any jerk. If I had some jerk, I would do jerk. Okay, uh, let's see what we're going to do. Okay, I got, you see the vegetables are right here. I got some chicken that I already cut up and washed early this morning. Here it is. It's been in the refrigerator. It's cold. It's not frozen though. That's a good thing. Actually, I had um, I had cut it up while I was getting my omelet, my fixing for my omelet ready. Okay, so we got the chicken. Uh, let me put it. This is some Himalayan salt right here. I'm just going to put a little bit on there. Not much. Uh, what else am I going to put in there? Let's get some pepper. Let's get some black pepper in there. I'm more interested in the curry season than anything else. I got my curry right here. And I'm just going to dump some in. I like a lot of curry. There we go. And I got... My veggie mix right here. These were frozen, but they are thawed. The mushrooms were fresh. And they, those are baby bellas. So just gonna dump this all in. I didn't have any more cauliflower rice. That's why I chose just regular rice. Hold I'm on. I'm sorry, that was my son. So I'm going to actually put 90 milliliters of water in here. Oops. I've got some veggies in there. Shush. Put that in there. I'm going to put... Hey, Mama. Hey, guys. Mama, 
Okay. Hey, okay, you have to wait. Let me finish my video. Wait a minute. Okay. I put them 90 milliliters of water in there. I'm going to put the rice on top. I'm going to put um, the same amount of water as I did the rice, which was the 90 milliliters. Okay. And I am going to put the lid on. And we are going to turn this on. I'm going to turn it this way, even though I know you guys can't see it. I'm going to turn this on. And it is on. And all right, we're going to let this cook. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. In all honesty, I do not remember exactly where I left off at. But I know I was looking for a piece of paper to do this so you guys can see that see what that butterfly looks like. This is the one I had to use a shim to get it to cut properly. And I think they'll make really cute pockets. So I got about I think about ten I cut out. And I'm going to tea dye these as well. And what else did I do? Oh and I I've made this little thing right here. I got two of them actually and this was the one that did I put the center in yeah that I just put these in just to see how this would work out I just made it out of some scrap paper that I was about to throw away I said wait a minute maybe I can find something to do with it and of course I went to oh who was it the treasure book her page and she's doing um some uh, embellishments, some DIY embellishments for your junk journal. And I got to put the paper here for this one. See, I even tore that one. But I figure if I put the paper over it and then it's going to be attached, you won't see it anyway. So, yeah. And I cut out these little picture frames. Out of, if I didn't show you, these are the little Polaroids. And this paper was double-sided, so it's either or. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. Uh, I think I showed you, I'm not sure if I showed you this little embellishment that I was working on right here. I may put a little piece of bling right there, but I doubt it because I don't want it to be two dimensional. And, uh, oh, this one right here. This is something else that I saw on her channel. She took it and put it on, what, like just a page? Okay? Yes, I'm okay. And I'm thinking about doing something like this this is another thing that i saw on her page and just you know making it kind of like that and using something like this little thing i just made this collage as some decorations and uh, what else what's next uh the last thing for right now is this i made this little pocket page and i i'm not sure if it was church books or somebody else hold on they're gonna make me hurt them but i just Took two pages, tore it, took my little round punch and punched that out. And so now this is a, a page, a pocket for a page. You can't see the white thread, but I did sew so with the little toy sewing machine. I did sew around the edge. I got some black thread and what some darker colors anyway, and I'll be using those to sew on that and see is there anything else I was trying to make a collage type deal situation out of something like this of course it didn't work out so well at least it not to me anyway I guess I just need to use some other colors <clears throat> and I like I guess I still got uh, two of these that I'm going to make like this little notepad type deal the situation out of it and so it can be put on some pages as well is there anything else up here that I'm thinking about? I don't think so. I think that's it for right now. But uh, this is this is not all. I'm gonna come back in a minute, and I'm gonna say in a minute, but I'm gonna come back. Hopefully, it'll be in this video, and I'm going to tee dye this cardstock stuff because I've never done it before. I don't even know how it's going to turn out. We're going to try it and see what's going to happen, okay? So let's so wait around for the tea dye. Alright guys, I actually thought I was going to be able to get something done today. The other grants are here. They just woke up the baby. So I'm, I'm just going to stop this short right now. I wanted to 
do the tea dye and see if I could tea dye this card stock right here and see how it would turn out. I did um, use punch and punch out some tag tags. These monarch butterflies from Martha Stewart. These other little butterflies right here. These little hands, the little pointy finger things, and the arrows with little small pointy fingers here. I got some of those, and I just print, uh, cut them out of some of the vinegar paper. I think that's vinegar, either coffee dye, one of them that I already had. I went and pulled more ink pads or stamp pads, whatever. I got red, I got blue, here's a yellow, a bunch of blacks, three blacks, two whites, three versa marks, and uh, these two which one of them is <laughs> Vintage Photo. Y'all know I got like three of those. And then this one is what? Olive. Crushed Olive. And plus the other ones that I showed you guys before. And this was one of my most loved ones. I love this copper colored one. And so um, I don't think I'm going to do any tea dyeing today. Simply because they're here. And I... My it, yeah, I I don't even know what to say. I'm gonna finish that food though, and then I'm gonna call it a day. And hopefully, if they leave, cause today is Saturday, so they're probably gonna be here all day Sunday, and their mom's gonna get them Sunday evening. I may be able to finish this out on Monday. Okay, so y'all pray for me, and I'll see you guys downstairs in the kitchen. Okay, I'm in the kitchen, and this has stopped. Oh, that rice looks mighty fluffy there. How about the rice is actually done, guys? I'm, I'm thoroughly shocked. But it's not bad either. Darn it, and I don't have a towel or anything to lift this. I want to burn myself. I'll be right back. Hold okay, on. Okay, I just want to get a paper towel and this. Ooh. Let's set it right there. Looks good though. Mushrooms, the chicken, and actually the vegetables don't even look over don't even look like they've been overcooked. So let's see how this chicken that started out raw is gonna be in this hot too. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay, it's cooked. Mmm. Great, that's spicy. I'm just gonna put a little, little pinch of, this, of salt on it. I have to watch my salt intake. Well, let's say my salt, my sodium intake. Okay. So that's actually pretty good, but I think I it takes. No, it's not. Can you go in the kitchen and record? I mean, at the kitchen and record it. Um, uh, that's yours. Yes. Okay. All right. <clears throat> that was my little camera, and uh, this actually it looks very, very good. I'm surprised, but I do like the flavor better when I seared the chicken first. Okay. Vegetables are good. That carrot is sweet to death. Peppers are still there. They're nice and bright. What? Here's a red pepper. Still has this form. Still has little 
Mm -hmm. Nice little bitty bite to it, and it's Mama. really good. Be well, quiet. Gonna be nice okay, now you guys have seen me just messing around in here, and this was all. Well, you might not know. That's the only thing I can't prove it. But this thing just turned itself back on. I didn't turn it on. You guys have been watching my hands the entire time. So I just turned it off again. Well, I didn't turn it off the first time it turned itself off. But <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to rec recommend this particular unit. I'm going to have to find you guys another unit to try because I don't know. I, 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 I Unless the manufacturers say that that's supposed to happen and then that's something you're supposed to do to keep it from happening, I really just cannot recommend this unit. Because if it, what if it just comes up and actually it did, I just wasn't able to prove it. I plugged it in and there was no water in it and I had just plugged it in. And next thing I know I hear pop and I feel, I'm feeling heat and it, it was on. So, I said it's, it's a nice little unit. It does what it's supposed to do. But it just cuts itself on and off. Let me try these mushrooms and peppers together. Mm. Oh, that's good. With a little bit of extra salt. Oh, that's great. Oh, my goodness. Mm hmm. So, I really do highly recommend. I mean, if this is something that you want to try, just get another unit. Don't get this one. I'm trying to think. Um, but, of course, this is just a mini rice cooker. Um, you can do the same thing in a full size rice cooker, I'm sure, or anything else you want. You probably don't want to take a full size rice cooker to work. This is just cute. And then you cook your food, all of the get, you know, and it it works. The chicken is good. Let me get a little rice. The only thing I hate is that because I did not. See this chicken with you know with the flour, that the the um, gravy down there the the sauce is watery. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Ooh, it's hot. I'm gonna talk about heat's hot, not spicy hot. Anyway, okay, your girl took one for the home team, and that's it. And it turned out to be de darn delicious. Alright guys, I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. If you haven't, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. All your comments, I truly appreciate it. Come back anytime and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye love books.